what's up uh, today we're at the junkyard I'm looking for a specific little piece for uh, my project car and an igniter connection uh, connector sorry uh, but since we're here if there's any cool cars uh, we'll take a look at them check it out I'm at the the scrapyard and there's this cool little K car just sitting here I think it's I think it's scrap it's Japanese for sure. Honda, Honda something or other. Tiny little thing. The window's open. Poor girl. Four hundred thousand kilometers? No. Oh, forty thousand kilometers. Hmm. That's sad. I don't know what kind of car that is. Honda something. Maybe it's an Autos AM or something. Poor little girl. Okay. There's an RX-8 coming up here. Sorry about the wind noise. Uh, it's a nice car. Arches are all rotted out, just like all RX-8s. They're all like that for some reason. They, they are cool cars. If I was like a... Oh, I'll take those. Um, if I was in... Oh, there they go. If I was a RX-7 owner, I'd get these seats and put them in my RX-7. They're the rotary seats. Or they got the rotary symbol there, I mean. Um, nice steering wheel. Uh, no shifter knob. The punk. Where'd those safety glasses go? Anyways. Let's see what else. The engine's still there. It's still th oh, the intake's gone, though. I wonder how many kilometers are on it. They're cool cars, right? They are cool cars. Oh, it's got like a digital thing, so you can't actually see how many kilometers are on it. Okay, here's the coolest thing here so far. I'm gonna pour things on the side. Just put down my tools. It is an old Mazda RX-7. FC. Wish I could zoom this out. Can I zoom that out? There we go, that's better. Oh, poor girl. She's seen better days. This is an old uh, SC400 with the 1UZ motor in it. Lexus or Toyota V8. Let's see if I can get the light in there. Pretty nifty. I once considered putting one of those in my 86, but way too much effort for me at least. Here we got a couple Celicas. Uh, can't really reach them because there's a ton of water around them, but there's a bunch of Salikas here. Nothing really that special though. And the Toyota section is actually very small. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, here's a nice looking, well, formerly nice looking Integra. I can't really get it. It's so muddy. Oh my goodness. It's so muddy. Actually, it looks like the same motor in my uh, CRV. Here's a nice looking Celica, all tinted out and everything, side skirts. Nice interior, too. Nice looking car, actually. Not what we're looking for. Here's kind of a cool car. This is a first gen RX-7. It's just sitting here in the parking lot area. Not in the record. Well, I'm still at the records, but this is the parking lot. Looks in good shape. Just dusty, that's all. 
but yeah, there's really not much here. Not like the old days where you could walk around and find CRX and 240SX. You can find a few 8086 sometimes. No, there's nothing. Nothing at all. There's, I don't know if this is WRX, but here's an Impreza, an Impreza at least. Well, it might have actually been a WRX. How do you tell? I don't know. And it's got a big beefy tailpipe. And then here's another Celica. But yeah, not much. Not much to see, really. Kind of disappointing. Okay, so we are out of the scrapyard, and now I can finally talk normally there was a lot of people around and a lot of noise going on wind noise etc and there's a lot of glare um unfortunately there's not much to be seen that's how it's been for a while too i remember back in the day me and my friends found uh an a86 in the scrapyard an a9 a92s um all sorts of really cool cars now there's really nothing it's disappointing. Anyways, I'll uh, talk to you later.